And then I bought something that was not on my wish list. It was a little bit of a spur of the moment purchase. I just couldn't fathom that they sold out that quickly in every single size. Good morning. Happy anniversary sale. So my Nordstrom is doing a 8 a.m. Party. I've never seen Nordstrom do this before, but they're letting you shop early. Not just me, like anybody who is at ambassador status gets to shop early at the store from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. It's like a little party. And I think they did one yesterday morning for Icon and they're doing one tomorrow if you're influencer status. And I think a lot of cities are doing it because when I had to RSVP, I had to pick my store and I saw a lot of stores. So let's go see what this little party's all about. are gone the pink ones they have the black ones but i'm gonna have to order stuff it looks like some online but we're gonna go upstairs and see what they have about and a couple of things that might surprise you and definitely some misses. So we're going to go over everything. So my Nordstrom did like a little party this morning. So we got to go in early and shop from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And they had like goodies, water, um, snacks, and they gave us this little reusable bag that's a super fresh Nordstrom. I'm like, what does that mean? Super fresh? Are they opening a grocery store? I don't know. Um, but they gave these little goodies, which I thought was really cool. They did not do this last year, or at least if they did, I did not get any of this. So they gave me a $15 coupon for beauty or fragrance that I can use July 15th. And then they gave me one $25 gift card to eat lunch at their restaurant, which I love their restaurant. It is so good. So I'll definitely be using these and then they gave us a scratch off card. And then I guess they said, if you win, you bring it in. So I'll have to play that. So I thought that was super cute. All right, so let's do a little haul of what I got. And the first thing, which I talked about in my first video of something I really wanted was the Free People Bomber jacket. They had it in my store. A lot of stuff was like not available in my store. And I live in Dallas and we have a pretty big Nordstrom. So I was a little disappointed with like the lack of sizing and just like not a lot of available stuff. They had like one of each size in this jacket. I did grab an extra small Free People runs really oversized. So I would definitely size down in this jacket. It's quite roomy, it's quite big, but I thought this was so cute and I feel like I will get a lot of wear out of this in fall. The next jacket I got, I actually did not have on my wish list. I saw it in stores and it's a really good brand and you know how I feel about the Nordstrom sale. It's best to pick up the good brands now and then wait until Black Friday or just like after the sale for the other stuff. So this is by All Saints and it is a denim jacket. This is so cute and I thought it was really well marked. It was, a, it's gonna be 230 and it's marked down to 149. And this is a great brand. This is a really nice jacket. I like how it has some frayed details, um, but it does run big, so size down. I got it in a size two and I normally wear a four. So definitely size down. It's still like a nice oversized fit, but this was like a fun find. And I do like when I'm like shopping and then I find something I wasn't even aware of or something exciting. So this is definitely a good buy. Okay, let's talk denim. I do love buying denim at the Nordstrom sale because I feel like I can wear it now. I can wear it all year. I think it's a good buy and I was 
so disappointed in these patchwork jeans. I wanted them so badly. I literally tried on three different sizes and all of them just looked terrible on me. Even sizing up like didn't help. It has something to do with like the fabric. It was just really unflattering and I'm so disappointed because patchwork is gonna be like a big staple and like a big trend for fall. So I'm just gonna keep looking at other brands to see if I can find some but I would not recommend these jeans. They just have like a really weird fit to them. And maybe it's just my body and maybe it'll look really cute on you, but just buyer beware. One, it runs small, so maybe size up. And I don't know, even when I sized up, I didn't like them on me. But I did find some denim that did work really well that I love. So I got these Good American jeans. These are the 90s relaxed. Um, and they have like a bell bottom towards them. These definitely run big. I did have to size down in these. So I normally wear a four and I had to get a two in them, but they fit perfect. They're so cute and flattering. And this is the style that's really on trend right now, like a little bit of a looser baggy fit. And for me, Good American is always like a brand that works really well for my body type. Like I just always have good luck with their jeans and I find them to be flattering. So definitely recommend. And then I wanted to get a wide leg jean for fall and Pistola is such a good brand. So these were on my wish list. I got them. These run true to size. I got my normal size um, and they fit so cute. They're gonna look so good with boots. And I think that these are a great, great purchase. Okay, I did get the little free people jumpsuit. The black one was on my wish list. They didn't have it, but they had the blue one. I tried it on. I am such a sucker for a jumpsuit. I loved it. It is like a little bit more of a fitted jumpsuit. Um, and I did not size down normally in free football. Normally in free people, I have to size down. I did not. I just went with the size small. It's fitted, but in like a really cute way. And I loved it so much. I went online and I ordered the black one as well, because this is the type of thing I will wear all year. I'll wear it now. I'll wear it in fall. And I just feel like they're so easy to just throw on and you look so put together. And this was a really great price point. So this is $84 right now. After the sale, it's gonna be up to $128. So I really liked this one. So let's talk about some fails. This is the Rails denim dress that I was really curious about. I thought it was super cute. I tried it on in stores and I didn't think it was very flattering. And I usually love the brand Rails, but something about their denim was just not it. Like the patchwork jeans didn't work. This dress didn't work. And usually when I buy from Rails, I buy their sweaters and their plaid shirts. They're the softest, most incredible thing. So I think that the denim is just like not working for Rails and they should just stick to their sweaters. It might look cute on you. It just, it wasn't good for me. So a huge fail today was the shoe section. Ugh. Oh, Nordstrom. Literally, there was like not a lot of options and a lot of sizes were sold out. And specifically, the Adidas Sambas in the pink and green were completely gone. And I have some things to say about it. Okay, so here's the deal. At midnight, you can shop online. When I went online last night to look at the Adidas Sambas, I was gonna buy them online before I went to the store this morning just to make sure I had them. No, completely sold out. So I clicked on it because when you have it in your wish list, it just says sold out on your size. I clicked in it. The entire pink shoe is completely gone. That means every size is sold out. I'm at the ambassador level in Nordstrom, so there's only one group that gets to shop before me. So there's absolutely no way that everybody who was an icon bought those shoes because first of all, Pink is not everybody's color. Not everybody's gonna want like the pink version. And to me, it just says that Nordstrom did not have enough in stock. The fact that every size was gone, sure, maybe like the popular sizes, like I feel like everybody is a size seven, seven and a half or eight. Like that's a very popular shoe size. So maybe if like one of those sizes were sold out, I could understand, but the fact that every single shoe size was completely gone, you can't even get the pink shoe anymore. It's just mind blowing to me. And I think that's the type of stuff that really annoys people shopping this sale and people get really frustrated and irritated about it because even people who have like ambassador or influencer card member status, by the time you shop, a lot of things that are popular are gone. And I knew that these were gonna sell out. I just couldn't fathom that they sold out that quickly in every single size. So to me, that shows that Nordstrom had a very limited stock of them. And it's just like, why even put them on the sale? Like at this point, just put them back. 
regular price. They weren't even discounted that much. I think they were only discounted like $20 or something. Like at this point, I'll just pay full price. Just have the stock ready for people because this is what upsets everyone. It's like you hype up this item and then no one can buy it. Like a handful of people got it and that's just super frustrating and annoying. So I did not have a good experience in the shoe section. It was busy. Even in the morning, it was like everybody ran to the shoes. There was not a lot of employees there, which was fu like fine. I get that. There's only so many employees, but they didn't have any of the shoes I wanted. So there's one shoe I decided to buy online and I picked up these Stuart Weitzman ballet flats, which I am not a flat girl. I, I'm like a sneaker girl or a heel person. And so ballet flats are not my thing, but I thought these were so cute with the little pearls on them. And I do like Stuart Weitzman. I find their shoes to be really comfortable. So I ordered them. We'll see when they come if I actually like them, but I just wanted to get them ordered before they sold out. So I think they're super cute. They come in three different colors. I got the camel color and I'm excited to see if I like them and be trendy and wear a ballet flat. I did buy two things last night before I went to the store online because I was like, I'm not risking it. So I did get the Farm Rio dress. I'm so happy about that because last year, all the Farm Rio stuff was gone day one for icons. They like sold everything out in my size. I couldn't even get it. So I was able to get this. I picked up my normal true size small. I'm super excited for that. It looks like they did a little bit of a better stock for Farm Rio this year. I'm looking at the app right now and so far every single size is in stock. So I'm happy to see that. Maybe they saw what a success Farm Rio was last year and they got more inventory this year, so that's good news. And then the second thing I picked up, that Levi's puffer that I told you guys that I thought was gonna be a big hit, clearly it was because my size was sold out. So I picked it up, there was a medium left. I'm gonna go look at it right now. So right now online there's a medium, an extra large and a double extra large. So I size up to a medium, which I'm okay with because I don't mind um, my outerwear being like bigger. So we'll see how that fits. But if it's like way too oversized, I will just keep stocking the website until a small comes back in stock. But I'm hoping that the medium works. So definitely if you want this as well, you need to buy it now. Okay, let's talk beauty. Beauty is one of my favorite things at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I think it's one of the best things to buy there. And so I was able to get almost everything that I wanted. So I got the Super Goop sunscreen. This is the best sunscreen ever. I use the Unseen sunscreen every day and I've never tried the stick. So I liked that it came with the stick so I could try that. But this is really great sunscreen because there's no white cast to it. So definitely a must have. I got the perfumes de Marley. I am so excited about this. This is like one of the things I was most excited about in the Nordstrom sale. So I'm so happy that they had them. They did have them, quite a few of them available in my store. And I see that they're still available online. And while this I do think will sell out, I think it will be a little bit slower just because of the price point. It's very expensive, but if you know about this perfume, like people who know about it are gonna buy it because it's really that good. So I'm gonna show them to you. They're little, but they are full size. It's like a full size, I believe one ounce. Yeah, it's one ounce of each fragrance. So you get Delina Rose, the classic Delina, and then Delina Exclusive. So all the Delinas, I'm so excited about this. This is one of my favorite fragrances of all time, it lasts and it smells so good, you will get a million compliments. And it's like a very unique fragrance and it is 100% worth the money. And I think getting all three of these is a steal for what it actually is. Okay, and then I bought something that was not on my wish list. It was a little bit of a spur of the moment purchase, but I'm like in my perfume era right now and I'm like obsessed with trying new perfumes. So I saw the Car Carolina Herrera perfumes and they had the original black one and the pink one. And I love how you get two of these. This bottle is insane. It is one of the prettiest perfumes I've ever seen. Like, look at that. Not only do you get a full size, but you get a mini. And you get two travel sample sizes. So I thought this was actually a really good deal. And the black one, there's the original black one and the pink one. The pink one is sweeter. And I tried both of them on and I actually really liked both of them. And I've never bought a perfume like the day I tried it on um, because like I feel like perfume is so subjective and like how it smells on you 
can change throughout the day, but I was like, oh wow, this is really good. So I just decided to go for it. It's 172, it would originally be $260. So this is so cute. And if you like the original black one, they have that too. And this would make such a nice gift for Christmas. Okay, I'm pulling out my phone because there were two beauty products in my store to not have that I wanted that I had to purchase online. So the Sawashu um, Serum, I did purchase this. I've never tried it myself, but I've only heard really amazing things about this. So I picked that up because you get two of them and I'm always down for like a good serum. And then I did pick up the PMD Rose Quartz Facial Cleansing Device. This one heats up. Not only can you wash your face with it, but you can apply serums. So it's really elevated. It feels like a spa and it was 118 and it's going to be 180 after the sale. And I find it harder to find like cleansing and like devices on sale later on. So I feel like now was the best time for me to buy it. So one thing I decided not to pick up was this Charlotte Tilbury set. So once I saw it in person, you do get a full size of the powder, but the two liquid versions were really small. They were not full size. So I decided to pass on that one. And I was like, well, I'm picking up this Carolina Herrera fragrance that I wasn't planning on. So instead of getting that I'll get this and that's, you know, girl math, how I justified it. <laughs> if you're still doing your Nordstrom shopping, you have to go watch this video next where I tell you what to buy and what not to buy because there's definitely a lot of things you do not want to be buying. And I spill my secrets on when you can get this stuff for even cheaper. Go check out that video and I'll see you next time. Bye.